functions in java here we are going to discuss what is a function and what are the different types of functions are there and what is a function call we'll be discussing with the demonstration so functions are set up instructions that can perform a specific task depending upon the nature of the task we can write a separate dedicated function and that function will be called for multiple number of times as when required to execute that dedicated task functions sometimes take some input arguments and return some output value after completing the task but th this taking the input arguments and returning some value they are all of them are optional they may or may not take place obviously that will depend upon the function declaration and whether it is returning any value or taking some input arguments so there are two types of functions are possible in java one is a standard library functions that means the pre written functions these functions can easily be accessed as when required importing the respective package and another one is the user defined function in short it will be called as udf indicating that these functions have got developed and defined by the developer so what is the standard library function and user defined function so some functions are predefined and they are readily available to do some specific task and some predefined functions like our print we are having this print ln sqrt etc so these are the predefined functions i can easily call them to get my job done but these functions are written according to the predefined so according to that we are supposed to use it we cannot redefine it according to my own need so user defined functions are actually coming to come and curate that problem so user defined functions are made by programmers and we can define some functions to do some specific important task according to our business logic and planning the basic syntax of a function definition is a function may or may not have some return type then we are having this function name it is mandatory and some set up argument list which may or may not be present there so that is a return type function name and argument list within the curly braces the function body or the statements are to be written here now what is function calling function calling is to use the function if you call the function then the respective function codes are going to get executed if the function is declared earlier we can call it to use it to perform our task so if the function is defined earlier then you can call it and you can get my task done we can use this to call a function there is a function name then uh, first bracket open and first bracket closing and then semicolon when the function returns something we can use it like this there is a my variable is equal to function name opening and closing first brackets so the return value will be assigned to the variable that is a my variable here so in this way the function calling can be done and we have also discussed that how the return argument from a function can be kept in a variable so let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding that how these functions are being called and accessed and defined in our java programming in this demonstration we are discussing java functions java functions can be categorized in two different categories one is a user defined function or in short can be called as udf where the function prototype the function body will be written by the programmer and the function is known as the inbuilt function or predefined function or library functions which function bodies are predefined and you are supposed to use them as when required in our code a function can be recursive can be also non recursive so let us go for the function examples so a function should have a return type the return type may be void also or any other data type then the function name will be there then optional input argument or argument list will be there so that is a basic prototype of a function so public static int add int a comma int b so here the name of the function is add and it takes the two input arguments that is int a and int b that means it is taking two arguments of the both of the type integer and then it returns int that means it returns one value which is of the type of integer it is it is defined as static that means this function can be called without defining the function class object and this function is under the public scope can be accessed outside of the class also 
within the function we have defined one local variable and that is the int sum so that is the local variable there a and b are the input arguments input parameters so they will get added and sum will hold the sum to total of these two a and b variables and then return sum we know the sum is having the data type integer so as it is returning so that's why this function will have the integer as a return type Next one, we are having one recursive function. We know that in case of recursive function, the function will have a capability to call itself. That means here you can see that within this factorial function body, we are calling the factorial itself. And another property will be there. A function will be recursive if it is having some base cases. Base cases means for certain inputs, the outputs are known to us. In those cases, it is known as the base case and the recursive function will have the capability to call itself either directly or indirectly. So here we are observing the direct calling because within the function body itself, the function itself has called. So if num is less than or equal to zero, so actually you are calculating the factorial of a given number. Here the number has been passed as argument, input argument, and the variable is num. So if the num is less than or equal to one, that means if the num is zero or if the num is one, then the, we are going for this return num. So when the number is one or less than that, the factorial will be one here. So I think it would be better if we return this one as one because in case of zero factorial also the return value will be one. Otherwise what will happen it will return num star factorial num minus one. That means if I want to calculate the factorial of four then actually the factorial of four can be written as four into three factorial. That means we are calculating the factorial of num minus one and that will get multiplied with the num and that will be returned as the output argument. So in this way we are writing one recursive function here. So let us go for the main function. So num is equal to five and result we have defined res result variable we have defined. So at first we are using some library functions or predefined functions or pre-written function. Here the function is pow. So math.pow. So math is a respective class name and it is defined under the java.lang package and pow is a is a function which which will take one double two double as input argument and it returns the double as output. So this is the num we are passing that is a five and three we are passing. So actually it is calculating num to the power of three. It is actually calculating num to the power of three. So here you see here this num is equal to five. So actually five to the power of three is being calculated. So five comma three has been passed and its output argument has been done type cast to integer and that will be assigned to res because res is nothing but result of the type of integer variable and this result value is going to get printed. Here we are calling this user different function non recursive. We are passing this 15 and 20. So this 15 is getting assigned to A and this 20 will be getting assigned to B. So 15 plus 20 will be done and that will be assigned to sum and the value of sum will be returned and the return argument will be will be assigned will be uh, occupied uh, will be dumped onto this result variable and this result variable is getting printed here. So whatever the output argument is being uh, is obtained from this add function that will be initializing this result variable res variable and the result variable is getting printed. Now to calculate the factorial we are calling this recursive function factorial which which takes only one uh, parameter as input. So here we are passing this six. So six will be assigned to num and the corresponding factorial is going to get calculated. So let us go for the execution here. So five to the power of three is 125. So 10 plus 15 plus 20 rather, it is 15 plus 20. So 15 plus 20 is equal to 35 and then factorial six is equal to seven to zero. So in this way, in this particular example and demonstration, we have discussed that how to define recursive functions, non-recursive functions, how to use user-defined functions, predefined functions in our Java code and what are the different syntaxes and what are the different issues. We have discussed that one into details with proper example. Thanks for watching this video.